Hi everyone, it's me Gaojim and in this video we're going to learn how the digestive system works with the help of my comic friend Percy the Pizza. So let's get started. But first we need to know what is the digestive system. We need energy to perform both physical and mental activities. And we get the energy from the food that we eat. Our body processes this food and turns it into chemicals which our body can use as energy. The system in our body which does this is called the digestive system. And the main job of the digestive system is to digest the food and convert it into energy. What is digestion? First, let's meet our comic friend Percy the Pizza. As we eat her, our body breaks her down into tiny water-soluble particles. These water-soluble particles can be absorbed into our blood and in turn provide our body with energy. This is called digestion. The organs in our digestive system. The organs in our digestive system are from our mouth to the large intestine. And all these organs work collectively to digest the food that we eat and convert it into energy. The main organs in the digestive system are the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the liver, the pancreas, the small intestine and the large intestine. Now I'm going to explain how all the organs in our digestive system work to digest the food that we eat and convert it into energy. First, let's meet our comic friend Percy the Pizza. One day, she came out the oven into a box ready to be delivered with her friend Katie Ketchup. Then suddenly, someone or something put her into a wet room which had white drops that grinded into her. Percy then realised that she was in the mouth and the white stuff were her teeth. And then the wet stuff was the saliva coming from the salivary glands which is used to soften her up. Then the tongue pushed her down a 10 inch long tube called the esophagus, also known as the food pipe. The esophagus connects our throat and our stomach. Percy then fell to the stomach, which was like a soupy pool, and digestive juices worked on her for about four hours until she turned into a soup-like substance called chai. And chime is nothing but partially digested food. Percy then took a roller coaster trip down the small intestine, where mostly digestion occurs. The small intestine absorbs all the nutrients from the food. There are two organs which work the small intestine, and one of them is the pancreas. The pancreas produce a pancreatic juice called enzymes, which help to break down all the fats, sugars, and starches in the food. Another organ working with the small intestine is the liver. There are two functions of the liver. One function is to process all the nutrients which the small intestine has absorbed. Another function of the liver is to produce a juice called bile. Bile helps to break down all the fat in the food and the bile is stored in a green sac called the gallbladder. The gallbladder stores the bile and the bile helps to break down all the fat that contains in the food. Next, the undigested food from the small intestine take another roller coaster trip through the large intestine where all the excess water is absorbed from the food and gets eliminated from our body as poop. Now I'm going to give you a quick recap on the organs of the digestive system. First, we chew the food using our mouth. Then our tongue pushes it down through a 10 inch long tube called the esophagus, also known as the food pipe. Then the food enters a CP pool called the stomach, where it sits there for 4 hours and turns into a CP substance called chyme. In the stomach, the food is partially digested. Next, the food gets fully digested in the small intestine, with the help of the juices coming from the pancreas and the liver. Next, the, all the food which is undigested from the small intestine go through the large intestine where all the excess water is absorbed and gets eliminated from our body as food. Now it's facts time. Did you know that hydrochloric acid is one of the strongest acid our body secretes in our stomach which is used for digestion? 
But luckily, it can't do us any harm because our stomach has a thick layer of mucus. And also, despite its name, the small intestine is one of the largest thing in the digestive system, as it can be about 22 feet long, but it's about two times larger than the large intestine. Also, did you know that you can eat upside down because food doesn't need gravity to go from the esophagus all the way to your stomach? Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, The Learning Bits. Bye!